What's up guys, it's Pete, and I'm back in the IPSI Print Lab to bring you another video on the Epson Colorworks C6000 series of color label printers. In today's video, we're gonna be going over the simple process of printing and dialing in a die cut color label. Let's get started. So what does a full bleed label actually look like? Well, a full bleed label should ideally reach all four sides of the available printing area. At the same time, you should have minimal ink bleed onto the back media. So you've worked hard on your product, and you've worked hard on your label design, you've created it in your label design software using Bartender and Nice Label, you send it to the printer, and you get this. You see all this white space on the top of the label? This design should be taking up the full size of the label. Not only that, but we have a whole lot of ink coming off on the liner. You don't want people sitting there getting that all over their hands while they're applying it to your product because there will be fingerprints everywhere. So what do we need to do? The first thing we're going to want to check is that our label is the exact size of the printable area. What I mean by this is making sure that the image that you're trying to print full bleed not only takes up the full width, but the full height of the label printing format. In our example here in Bartender, you can see that while the image does take up the full width, there's some white space on the bottom. So this won't stretch all the way to the outside of the label. In order to remedy this, we're going to oversize the image just a little bit so that it covers up the entire document and then I'll go ahead and center it again, save the document, and run another test print. The C6000 has margins built into the printer driver, so typically you won't have to worry about creating these yourself, but if you do, well, we'll address that in the next step. Let's go into our menu, go to media setting, scroll down to print position adjustment, and through this menu, we can make very, very small adjustments that'll let us line up the image to the label exactly the way we want it. In order to do this, we're just gonna select top position or left position, depending on what your label needs, and move it in very small increments, test printing between each one to see if we're a little closer. You'll have to use your judgment to decide how much to move it one way or the other. The other way to make adjustments to our printing position is through the Epson printer setting utility, which is downloaded when you get the drivers for your printer off of Epson's website. If you don't have those drivers yet, I'll make sure to put links in the description to the drivers for the C6000 and C6500 printers. If you do have them already, in order to find them, you're gonna go down to your Windows search and just type C6500 or C6000, and then click on the application. It'll take a minute to search for your printer, and once you have this screen, you can select the printer from this menu, and then we can hit OK. If you're using USB, it should show up right away, but if you're using a printer over the network, you might have to hit the Ethernet button and then hit Search. Mine showed up right away, so I'll select it and hit OK. It's going to begin communicating with the printer, and it may take a second, but once it's done, you should arrive at this screen. This utility has lots of useful tools for your Epson printer, but for this demonstration, we're only going to be using the Position Adjustment tab. Here you can see a menu very similar to the one we saw when we were adjusting our position using the printer interface. In order to make our adjustments, all we're gonna do is select Vertical or Horizontal Direction Adjustment, hit Start Adjustment, and here we have a very useful picture that tells us which way we need to move this value in order to get the label where we want it. If I decided that the label needs to be moved further to the right, well, here we can see that that means we need a value that is further negative. So as I have it at 0.7 now, maybe I need to go down to 0.5. I'll hit apply settings, I'll hit yes, and it may take a second, but you should get a screen that says finished and confirms that the information has been sent to the printer. Now is the time to run another test print and see what your new label looks like. If you're satisfied with your results, congratulations, you're ready to get printing. If you're not, then head back into your adjustments and change those values as you see necessary.
You can see through our adjustments, we've minimized the amount of ink that's printing on the liner. And we have a beautiful full bleed color label. That's all there is to it, guys. I know that was a lot of trial and error, but if you're still having issues dialing in your label, please feel free to contact us at www.ipsyscan.com. If you need ink, labels, or supplies for your printer, don't forget to check out our store at infinitylabelgroup.com. If you're interested in seeing more videos on the Epson Colorworks or maybe a different type of printer, don't forget to check out our YouTube channel and try to find your answer there. For now, this has been Pete, and I'll see you next time.